questions. How's the first couple days going for you guys? Um, it's been good. Um, you know, getting the rust off of everybody, and you know, it's, it's been good to get back out there and you know, start getting the motion and everything. Um, you know, a lot of guys are flying around, and you know, we're looking good. And it's a lot of energy out there. We just got to keep, you know, grinding, and you know, you know, after we come back from spring break, just keep grinding, and, you know, pushing the clock. What's it like now that you you've done this before? Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it feels it feels uh, better. I feel more comfortable, you know, going into this. Um, you know, I know what to expect, and I know, you know, I, how hard I have to work. Um, you know, just keep my job, and um, just gotta, you know, keep grinding. That's all it is, and um, you know, and encourage others, and, and uh, you know, just become more vocally to, you know, to my teammates. Now that you've done this before, is it is it easier to to kind of focus on the the small little fundamentals to kind of improve? Yeah, most definitely. Um, and we we've, we've been doing that. Um, you know, sitting down and watching, watching the film from last year, and just trying to correct the, you know, the little little tweaks, and you know, like my throwing throwing motion, uh, just trying to get my shoulder to my target, just to help out help out with uh, accuracy and stuff like that. So, I've gotten a chance to really sit down and uh, try to apply that on the field. There's obviously you're going to be focusing on a lot of little things, but do you have any big picture kind of goals to accomplish before the spring's over with? I say that, you know, just fundamentally, um, you know, and and and. and Knowing when my hots are coming, and you know, and, and stuff like that. But I, I, the biggest thing I'd say is just fundamentally, um, and you know, I, I, I feel really comfortable with the offense and, and knowing where I'm supposed to be with the ball. Um, just really emphasizing, you know, those little things that I have to correct. The way you guys finished the this, this season, was there a kind of a eagerness, excitement to get back to work? Oh, yeah. and kind of picked up where oh, you yeah. left off. Yeah, and it, it was it was a lot of a lot of us getting getting work, um, you know, weeks before. You know, even spring practice, you know, was close. So, you know, you could tell there's a lot of guys ready to get work. And, you know, even on the defensive side, we had a lot of, you know, DBs out there, um, you know, getting reps with our wideouts. And it's just a lot of competition. So, you could tell, you know, it was, everybody was definitely ready. Obviously, you had a pretty good relationship with Lynn last year on the field. How, how do you find another one like that? How do you develop those with, uh, with other wide receivers? Uh, it takes time, you know. Um, and, I've, I've been doing that, you know, and you know those guys, you know, they, they've been putting in so much work, and they're, they're still grinding, they're still trying to per perfect their craft as well. But I say it just takes time, you know. You, um, they're going to be in the at the right spot at the right time. I just got to put the ball there. So I mean, after you do it a while, you know, it starts to click, and you know they know where you're going to put the ball at, you know, and um, you know it's, it just it just comes along with reps. So I feel like it's over time. You know, it takes a minute. Have you noticed some of those guys starting to, to, to improve their play just their oh, two yeah. practices? Um, yeah, Josh Ali, um, Isaiah Epps, you know, Lynn, of course. Um, you know, and, and even um, we have we have King. He's 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 working really hard too, you know, stepping up and, and trying to make big plays. Cleavon Thomas, he's making big plays too as well for us. Um, so we have we have a lot of guys that are stepping up and, you know, trying to be the X Factor for us. What's the comfort level like having a lot of those guys in front of you, the, the oh, O-line. It, it feels great, yeah. And, you know, those guys are front of smart. Um, and so, it, you know, just knowing that they're going to take care of their business, you know, it makes my job way, way more easier. Um, it just feels good having Landon back out there, too, seeing them, seeing them move around and go out there and play. So, you know, I'm excited for them. AJ said that the, the guys in his room are pretty good at catching passes as well. Is it is it tough to get them more involved, or do you, is it difficult to kind of get the running backs the ball in passing? Uh, no, we're, we're this this spring uh, we're emphasizing on getting getting our, our running backs out you know, for checkdowns and stuff like that. So you know when things are open down the field, I can just dump the ball down to a checkdown. So we're we're pushing that a lot um, this this spring and. So we're going to keep doing that. I think he's good at catching the ball, as he says. Yeah, they can catch. They can catch. AJ, uh, just a little bit, but we, he, he'll work on it. We'll be good. What are your overall expectations for, for that group of guys, the running backs? Uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big competitive nature in that room. Uh, you know, just just knowing who we had last year and who has to step up. And, you know, they're all doing good, though. You know, they're all working hard. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll just find out what happens. You know, they're all competing. And, you know, it'll just be fun to see. All right, thanks, good. guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you.